This is Twit. Um, I don't know if you covered this in your last podcast, Leo. Uh, MacBreak was the news that iOS version eight is random is deliberately randomizing its Wi-Fi MAC addresses. Very cool thing. Um, one of the things that has been known is that when cell phone carriers with Wi-Fi enabled, not, not the cell connection, the Wi-Fi connection, are being tracked as they wander around. There have been department stores that purchased devices to identify customers from the MAC address, which is broadcast by the by the Wi-Fi in cell phones. Uh, there were some stories about, I mean, weird things like recycling containers in the UK had hidden Wi-Fi receivers that were being used to track people. Um, and of course, as we know, a MAC address is supposed to be a globally unique IP, which is which is the well, not IP, sorry, globally unique identifier. It's 48 bits divided into two 24-bit chunks. Uh, and one chunk is the manufacturer's ID, and the second chunk is is a serial number unique within that ID. And so, for example, if you use um, a, a, a wire sniffing tool, it'll show you the manufacturer of the Ethernet adapter, and th which is obtained from the, the, the first 24 bits of the MAC address. And the idea is that on any Ethernet, you ha it's the MAC addresses which is used for routing Ethernet packets, even if IP protocol is being carried by those ether the underlying Ethernet packets, the the IP is sort of the, the is is like a higher level addressing. The actual physical address is the MAC address. And so those are traditionally fixed. Every device manufactured by every manufacturer has a unique MAC address. So what Apple what, what, what a, as a researcher discovered in the last couple days about version 8 of iOS, a new feature in version 8, is that when the device, it went, when an iOS 8 device is not associated with an access point or a hotspot, that is when it's just in that mode, for example, where it lists all of the ones that it can see and asks you if you want to connect. You know, that requires Ethernet, you know, Wi-Fi Ethernet transactions. And for those, iOS 8 makes up a MAC address. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not actually communicating. I wonder it's if that's going to break anything. I'd probably not. Um, I, I you're don't, not making I don't an active connection, so it's not cor correct. Yeah. And I mean, we we've known this for a long time that all devices broadcast SSIDs, they broadcast MAC addresses. That's why MAC address filtering is ineffective. Well, and that's what Google's positioning system that they famously got into such trouble for. I mean, what, what, when the little Google bot is ro r driving around your neighborhood, it's the MAC address of your router that it's logging because that's fixed and you that's change the, the SSID. Right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so anyway, so the idea is that what this does is it just, it just fogs your, your identity as you're casually walking around it, you know, all of those interchanges where it's just, it's just, you know, having a, a, a non-associated Dot, sort of pre-association dialogue with the hotspot, it just uses a fake MAC address. It just randomizes them, which is just kind of a cool feature. I imagine that, you know, that'll be added to Android when the idea catches on because it's a sort of, it's a, it's a nice thing to do. And so it's nice, again, to see that Apple is, is thinking in this direction. Small change, 
but uh, you know, a pri privacy enhancement. And of course, I their eye beacons some... probably announcing their location. Pretty... I saw <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they I, have an alternative some... method. <laughs> Yeah, I saw some dialogue suggesting that, well, yes, but this is a way for Apple to say, ah, well, if it's you theater. want to track our users, use iBeacon, which is our technology it's for theater. doing that. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's nice to be able to turn that on.